what can we expect from XRP in the coming days? An uphill movement or a downfall? This year has witnessed a bull run for almost all cryptocurrencies, and XRP is no exception. Nevertheless, XRP is set to strike and aim for all-time highs. XRP Lab Fam Welcome to our channel XRP Lab, the XRP domain where we keep you updated on all XRP and Ripple news. Let's grow the XRP community by pressing the like button and subscribing to our channel. So, today I would like to discuss the topic related to XRP price prediction for short-term targets. If you're an XRP fan, I would recommend you watch till the end of the video because we have brought up many intricacies concerning XRP. Alright, let's get on to the video. First of all, I would like to raise an issue lingering in most of your mind as to whether XRP is centralized or decentralized. In February 2021, Forbes ranked the settlement system and remittance king Ripple as the second largest fintech firm in the US. This was deemed as a tremendous achievement for a company like Ripple that dealt with blockchain technology, a fast-growing area in online marketing. However, amidst all these instances of glory, it has also met with negative criticism especially from the cryptocurrency community. They argued that Ripple was too centralized. Critics have made accusations that Ripple holds too large a share of XRP, its native token, and have pointed to reports that, for example, Ripple co-founder Jeb McCaleb has sold a billion XRP, but still has power over roughly 5% of token supply. Marcus Treacher, the senior vice president of customer success Ripple Labs Incorporation, addressed the issues and defended his claim in the fact that XRP is decentralized. XRP is not centralized, Treacher commented, as a matter of fact. It's a decentralized, open-source digital asset, and the XRP ledger is based on an inherently decentralized, democratic consensus mechanism, meaning no one party can control it, not even Ripple. But this is just it. Most of the people on Reddit posted that Ripple is centralized and the claims made by Jed McCaleb are false. Their argument is that XRP has its own RPCA, that is Ripple Protocol Consensus Algorithm, and has roughly a thousand nodes. 33 nodes must finalize the transactions. Unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, Ripple does not use proof-of-work or proof-of-stake platforms. Its algorithm enables a group of nodes to form a consensus based on a special node list. Ripple has the authority to select the unique node list. The initial special node list is like a club. Since the club started with centralization, it will always be centralized. And if it starts to get disorganized, shareholders will be able to do nothing. In short, some people claim that Ripple is centralized because it holds the major portion of its stakes in the XRP. There is no influence of a third party. But other arguments state that it is decentralized and Ripple has only control over 7% of it. What are your thoughts regarding this issue? Do give us your opinion in the comment section below. Ripple showed a good performance in the year 2020, but was faced with an impediment when the SEC sued a lawsuit against Ripple. The chief regulators claimed that XRP tokens were unregistered securities, and Ripple, the parent company, had broken laws by offering unregistered securities to investors in the United States. It was a period that saw the downfall of XRP. While the crypto market was celebrating Bitcoin's bull run, XRP, one of the most popular altcoins, tanked dramatically. In fact, the crypto lost 50% of its value in just 48 hours. But it is astonishing to note that two days later after the lawsuit was filed, the crypto was valued at 26 cents, a surge. This should have happened the other way around, right? And the most surprising fact was that the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple triggered the XRP's price action. After the defendants were granted access to the SEC's documents and discussions about whether XRP tokens are similar to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether on the 6th of April, the crypto hiked by 72% in 48 hours. Ripple has reported a near 100% increase in XRP sales for the first quarter of 2021. The total crypto market cap started the year at $776 billion forming a steady uptrend to end the quarter at its highest point in the period at $2.5 trillion. Ripple's XRP sales went up to $150 million in Q1 2021, compared to $76 million in Q4 2020, an increase of 97%. Ripple says its on-demand liquidity service contributed to the jump. 
ODL helps Ripple clients to settle cross-border payments via XRP without pre-funding. The CVIX or Crypto Volatility Index is hovering around 68. This is a warning for the traders as they might face some undesirable price fluctuations. This is a serious issue that needs to be dealt with prudence. CVIX is an indicator of many factors, out of which the most fundamental one is applied while trading in the market. It doesn't matter whether you're going to invest in cryptocurrency or stocks, but the goal of CVIX is to set the buy triggers when the volatility goes overboard. This is a major concern in the XRP market that will gradually lead to a substantial price drop. For those traders who already acquired a position, the high ret CVIX implies that the time has come to elaborate on an exit strategy, since high volatility combined with overwhelming sentiment generally results in a sizable price drop. Ripple has extended its support to some of the prominent business tycoons in the investment sector, indicating that many have put faith in the strong Ripple forecast. Investors can hopefully look forward to a promising future where their capital is positioned in an asset that has gained back up from powerful and influential individuals. Will Mead, former PM at Goldman Sachs and Job Hopkins University alumni, claims that he expects the prices of both Bitcoin and XRP to go up. Mead made his first crypto purchase of XRP and is calling for a 1,500% increase in the asset due to Bitcoin's new uptrend and a rising tide lifting all boats. A 1,500% increase would take XRP back to $3 in the near term. Profit Confidential predicted that by the middle of 2017, when Ripple was circulating at less than a quarter on the dollar, that the asset would someday be worth full greenback. Later that year, Ripple did even better and reached $2. At the turn of the new year, into the early days of January, it peaked at over $3.50 a coin. If XRP can break out and maintain the momentum this time around, or even win the SEC case or have it dropped or settled, it could be off to the races for Ripple. Cryptocurrencies are often cyclical, and each cycle is a repeating pattern called a fractal. If the fractal pattern continues, Ripple could rise to as high as $160 per token in the short term. But within 2022 to 2023 could act as a peak to this latest bull market, meaning that a bear cycle could begin after. With the pandemic breakout, the world was sent into hibernation for a couple of months and it was reflected negatively on the cryptocurrencies, sending Bitcoin downhill as we witnessed even 40% daily losses. However, the situation quickly stabilized and Bitcoin was the flag bearer taking the crypto market back up. We are in a major bull run since the summer and if we're listening to the analytics from social media and journalistic desks, we are far away from its local zenith. With the market changing so rapidly, many platforms are having to adjust their forecasts at a very short notice to keep up. That doesn't mean we should discredit the rest of Digital Coin's prediction, but it could suggest that it's been over-optimistic in its estimations. That said, it's not the only platform that believes Ripple still has room to grow. According to an analysis by the analyst Shiner on TradingView, the price of XRP could be said to break through a resistance level of $2.50. In an article published by Inside Bitcoins, the trading analyst Aziz Mustafa claimed that if Ripple successfully hits $2.50 within the next few months, we could expect to see the asset's bullish trend continue. With XRP, USD consistently gaining more than 25% in a series of 24-hour periods, its growth has left many investors keen for more. But Mustafa has stressed that at this stage, the price swing could still go either way. Like many analysts, he isn't ruling out the possibility of a bearish adjustment, especially if Ripple fails to break through its resistance point of $1.9 within a 21-day moving average. The analyst Robert Art has also been more optimistic about Ripple's short-term outlook. As Art is rather fiercely pro-XRP, some investors believe his predictions are more bullish. The coin has the support of regulators and is professionally managed by a team of experts and investors who are working hard to push the coin and make the adoption rate higher than ever. If this trend continues, then there is a possibility that XRP might hit $5 within the next five years. Do you invest in XRP? So that's the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and check out on our other valuable videos. See you soon at XRP Lab.